The diamond of a um, standard deck of cards is a simple geometric figure, but not as simple as a square or a rectangle. Uh, whereas um, in the square or rectangle, the interior angles are 90 degrees. For the diamond of a standard deck of cards, the interior angles are no longer 90 degrees. So look at this, uh, this angle here, and this angle here, they are not 90 degrees. So our first objective here is to calculate the angle, for example, what is this angle here? And then now uh, what is this angle here? And then we will know what the other um, angular measurements inside the diamond are. Now to calculate the angle here, which I call angle uh, alpha, and this angle here, which I call um, angle uh, beta, I use this triangle on the left side of the screen. So we have here a right triangle. We have alpha here on the lower corner and then beta here on the upper corner of the right triangle. Now to solve for alpha here, uh, what I need to do is to use the tangent of alpha. Uh, the tangent of alpha uh, is equal to the length of the opposite side which is 4x over the length of the adjacent side, which is 3x. Since we are after the alpha here, so I need to get the value of the arc tangent. The arc tangent of 4x over 3x is equal to the value of alpha, and we found that out we find that out in as 53.13 degrees. So that's the value of alpha. So this is uh, 53.13 degrees. Okay, let's go to beta. The tangent of beta is, again, um, the length of the opposite side which is 3x over the length of the adjacent side, which is 4x. And to get the value of beta, we use the arc tangent of 3x over 4x. So we get the value of beta here. And the value is 36.87. So this one is 36.87. Seven. Okay, we can start now with the drawing of the a diamond of the deck of cards. We start with the definition of the diamond size. The advantage of um, using the diamond size defined uh, early in the coding is you just change the diamond size and then uh, the size of the drawing increases or decreases whatever your value is. If you want to increase the, the diamond size, then the diamond becomes bigger. Okay, I define the diamond size here as 300 and the diamond size here is actually the 5x here. This is the diamond size. And as you can see on the right corner of the screen, 5x is defined as the diamond size. So the length from this point here, I'm checking on that, to this point here is the diamond size. And it was defined as 300. And then um, I'm actually starting from 0, 0. So the 0, 0 is right here. And then I don't want to generate any line as I go away from zero, zero. So I raise my pen up 
number six, and then I go to the right forward because incidentally the default um, direction of the turtle is to the right. So I go towards the right. I am retracing that by which distance it is 0 0.6 of the diamond size. The reason why the distance is 0 0.6 of the diamond size is look at the look at the distance here it is 3x relative to the 5x here which is defined as a diamond size. The 3x is only 0.6 of the 3x is only 0.6 of the 5x. Okay, if we are done with um, number seven, we are now here. And then um, I'm putting my pen down to start drawing um, the four sides of the diamond. I first start with uh, the peel color uh, right here because I'm using the peel color procedure again because the diamond uh, needs to be red in the standard deck, remember? Okay, I continue um, T that begin peel in number 10. And then for number 11, since uh, at this point, um, the direction of the turtle is like this, but I want the direction of the turtle to be like this one here. So I need to turn the turtle um, 180 minus uh, 53.13. So this is 180 minus uh, 53.13 because the angle here is 53.13. And then uh, command number 12, I go forward. Let me trace that. I go forward like this. So I'm drawing the line now. This is a visible line because my pen is down now. And then when I reach this corner here, the direction of the turtle is like this. But I want the direction of the turtle to be like this one here. So I need to turn the turtle to the left like this one here. And the measure of this angle here is 180 degrees uh, minus uh, two of the 36.87. Now, why is that? Because uh, look at this straight line here. If this is 3687, this angle here, then this angle here also is 36.87 because the diamond is um, similar to the left and to the right. And at the same, um, in the same reasoning at this angle here, this angle here, is also 36.87 because um, it is vertical to 36.87 here. So look from the straight angle here. I am removing 36.87 there. I am removing 36.87 here. So I am removing, in effect, uh, two of 36.87s from the straight angle, 180 degrees. Okay, um, that's command number 13. And then I go forward. From this corner here, I go forward. Let me trace the direction of the turtle i go forward until i reach this uh, corner here now at this point the direction of the turtle again is like this 
but I don't want the, that direction. I want the direction to be like this. So I need to turn the turtle to the left. And the measure of this angle is um, 180. This is 180 um, minus 2 or 53.13. Now, why is it like that? Uh, because um, if we if we focus on this um, straight angle here, this one is uh, fifty three point fifty three point thirteen, and this angle here also is uh, fifty three point thirteen. So this one here uh, is 53.13. So the angle that you want here uh, should be 180 minus 2 of 53.13. Okay, uh, that's command number 15 and then we go to the next corner so i'm tracing the direction of the turtle here we go downward here go down go down until we reach this point here now the direction of the turtle is like this uh, but i want the direction of the turtle to be like this so we need to turn the turtle uh, to the left here Okay, to the left, and this one is 180, 180 minus a 2 of 36.87, because this one is 36.87. And uh, this one here also is uh, 36.87. Now we go to command number 18. We go forward until we reach the starting point here. And the geometric figure of the diamond is done. So we end the fill and the moment uh, we reach the point here, the starting and the ending point here the diamond uh, automatically becomes red so this is how the python generates the diamond figure